Hi, I'm Al from One Great Ape, and today we're going to be fitting our racer kit to this 9 bot G30 Max. You're going to need a few tools, ordinary hair dryer, a sharp knife, bamboo skewer, a spatula or uh, anything similar, a scraper, the soft plastic one. Uh, this is a weeding tool, so it's for pulling the stickers up, but you can just use a simple needle. A cleaning bud. Either uh, acetone or isocol, either one. Um, they're just for cleaning of residue and that. Always test just a little bit somewhere that you won't see first because they are um, corrosive or abrasive sometimes, depends what you use and where you use it. Uh, and then a couple of rags. All right, on to the next step. We're going to begin by removing the deck rubber. Okay, so uh, to remove the deck, it's pretty simple. You just kind of find a quarter and start pulling up. Now, you want to get your hair dryer and heat it a bit because the tape underneath may peel. Um, on this corner, you can see as I pull it up, we're getting little bits come off. If it does that, just try another corner um, and see if it doesn't do it. Some corners stick a bit less than others and it's just a, uh, a matter of trying. Easy as that. Um, keep this to the side. What we'll do is we'll use one of these um, underneath bits of paper once we pull all the stickers off to stick it onto in case you want to put it back on at some time in the future. So we'll just put it to the side. Okay, now we need to clean off some of this, um, this mess. You may be able to just roll it off with your fingers, as I'm doing here. Uh, if you have bigger pieces, you may need to use the acetone or isopropyl alcohol to, um, to soften up the adhesive and then use the, the hard plastic spatula to scrape it off. Okay. Um, sometimes too, if uh, there's a lot, your fingers can get a bit sore. Just a note on safety. Do not uh, burn yourself with the hair dryer, okay? It's very easy to do, especially if you have heat on something for a long time. You also need to be careful that you don't get anything too hot, okay? Um, if you are burning yourself touching something after, then you've probably gotten it too hot. You just wanna work the one area nice and evenly. If you have a heat gun, you can use that, but just be careful. Heat guns tend to be a little bit too powerful and you can easily uh, burn, burn either the plastics or um, parts of scooters, anything. That's why I prefer to use a hairdryer. All right, so we removed the deck. Um, now the next thing we're gonna do is Give it a bit of a clean. Again, I probably wouldn't use the acetone for the whole thing. We can just use some isopropyl alcohol. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, you can always try soapy water or just lightly soap or Windex. Um, especially if your scooter has been used for a while. This is a brand new scooter. There's no mud or dirt. You really want to make sure you get any of that off. So what I would do there is get a bucket of uh, water with a little bit of dishwashing soap in it and a rag 
possibly a, a, a plastic bristle brush, and just give it a run over, wipe it down, then use water, wipe it again, get any dirt and stuff off the surface, oil, anything like that. The other important thing to do is take a picture of your serial number. Um, it will be covered over on this scooter by the sticker. It's very important you keep your serial number because if your scooter gets stolen, that's the only way they know it's yours, apart from the buy stickers. But they will probably get replaced or taken off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab some of this isopropyl alcohol, my ray, put it on there. Give it a nice quick rub down. Now, I'm not going to do the whole scooter at once. I like to do it bit by bit as I go, um, just in case I touch anywhere that I'm about to put stickers on. Okay, so, pull the sticker off, just grab your pin, and you just slide it under an edge a bit. You may be able to do it without that, you can just hold it like that. Um, it's not a particular talent to pull a sticker off. Okay, and then the top um, is the, the side with the hole towards the uh, upper part. And place it on here, and pretty much you want to line this center part here, get the middle of these top and bottom bits with the middle of here and here. Okay? Yeah. Excellent, looks pretty good. Now we grab our ray, uh, the one without um, the alcohol on it or cleaning fluid, and just rub it up and down and slowly work your way around. like that and that'll ensure you don't get any bubbles uh, in it now we've just turned the scooter around to give you a bit of a better look here so there's this cut through here and all you do is rub on there rub here feed it around make sure it goes either side look underneath yep Make sure you get right up in those corners. Perfect. The first bit done. Okay, next we're going to do the head tube. So I'll just give this a bit of a clean off. And that's just because I've touched it with my hands and hands have oil in it and you want to avoid any of that. Make sure it's dry. On that same sheet, we want to pick off the head tube piece. And then again, you just want to try and align it in the middle. So best way to do that, put your uh, handlebars facing forward and then line up in the middle. You'll actually see there's a little bit of a notch here. Uh, if you can't see it, that's all right. Uh, you could just do your best to guess. All right, and then just sort of gently put it on. Make sure it's even on both sides. Looking pretty good. Uh, just pull it back a bit now. Rub both sides on. And that is excellent. We're going to do the front fork now. I've turned the scooter back around so we can do this side, so we can have a good look at it. Just give it a wipe off. Again, with the isopropyl alcohol. Make sure it's dry. Then weed off the part we want. Doesn't matter which side. 
Uh, we have the two front forks here and here. They both fit the same uh, either side, it's up to you. And we're just going to sit it on here like this. So I can get it nice and straight. Okay. And then we're going to take our hair dryer and without burning ourselves, we're going to press it on because as you can see, uh, we've got a sort of complex curve here that bends in both directions. And so as we push it down, you get lifted bits here and here. So we need to heat those up to put them on. As you can see, as I put it on, I'm just pushing these out. Okay, and so you'll get these little ripples then. And so from there, we'll just heat it a bit more and work those out. If you find it's getting a bit too hot, you can use your towel to push them out. Um, but for the most uh, most cases, you should be fine to just do it with your hand. Okay, so here, uh, generally it's all looking pretty good. Here we have a little bit. You could leave it like that. Um, you probably wouldn't notice. Or just pull this up a bit. And then uh, try to spread that out. Don't worry about it being too perfect until you heat it. There we have it. All right, now that we've turned the scooter around, we're going to begin. We've got these notch marks here and they align with these holes. Now we will have to lower the stem later to get the sticker past here, but to begin with, we'll keep it upright just because it's a bit easier. Very simply align the holes with even spacing. And that looks pretty perfect. Okay, now I'm going to lower the stem and go from there. Okay, now I've got my clean rag and see I'm just wiping along here. Okay, go from the center out. As we do it, what we want to watch for is bubbles like this. So I've gotten a little one here. It's hard to see, but um, you can you can tell it's there because it's not a nice even curve. So I'll just lift that up a bit, go back and restick it down. Okay, same deal up here. The other thing you want to watch for is that as it wraps around, it's parallel here with the uh, the base because if it's not it means it's skewed and when you get to the other side it's not going to line up properly if you have any problems you can always lift it up and stick it down again all right from here i'm just going to go back a bit 
this top part hasn't quite gone on like I wanted. Excellent. All right, we'll lift the stem back up to finish this off. All right, with the stem back up and locked in place, I'm just going to continue working my way around, watching for any air bubbles or ripples. Getting a little here. That looks pretty good. Now I'll be honest, that's the best one I've ever done. It's not always that easy and don't be upset if you have to peel it off a couple of times, start again, get it realigned. All right. From there, we're just going to whip out the hair dryer around here. I've got a couple little bumps around those screw holes. So I'm just going to, again, like we did before, power on and run them out. Beautiful. All right. Next, we're going to move on to the front fender. This one's a lot trickier. So we'll take it nice and slow and really make sure we do it bit by bit to get out any bubbles or lumps or ripples. So I'm going to begin by giving here in the back one a bit of clean. It off, make sure it's dry, and then we'll be pulling up our front fender here. This is the same shape as the stem. It actually has two parts the back half and the front half here. We're going to begin with the front half. The first thing you want to do is pull out these little bits here. Okay, it's important to do this because if you don't they will just lift up with the stickers themselves and cause you all manner of hassle and pain. Beautiful. Okay, so there's six of them there. Easy enough to get out. Now I'm going to take the sticker and lift it off. Be careful not to tear the sticker as you do this. You need to work it off slowly, or as you lift it, you might tear it through here and here and here. Now we try and align it in the middle, and then try and get the front as center as you can. Just like that. Okay, then the next one, we're going to bend and pull it so that it lines up right on the edge of that one. Okay. Next one, pull it, line it right up on the edge. Same on the other side. 
You don't go too crazy, crazy worrying about how firmly it's stuck down yet. You might have to lift it again and realign it. Now we get our hair dryer. And we're going to begin by working this front part. Hey, we've got a sort of quite a bad ripple there and rather than just keep pushing it down, I'm going to lift this back up get the lower piece, the front piece stuck down, make sure it's neat, and then allow this to go over the top so they're not fighting each other. Okay, so that's worked out pretty well. Looks pretty good. There's no bubbles, uh, no edges. Okay. If you find it's carrying over the edge here and you don't want to pull it off and start again, you can just simply get your blade and you run it along the edge here. Okay, or under there. Okay, all these bits have been weeded out. And now we're just going to lift it off. Again, be careful not to tear it. And we're just going to try and align it with the center. And then run this down to the middle. Again. All right, so we've got it like that, and that looks pretty good to me. So they're sticking well enough that we don't need to use the heat gun yet. But I think here we'll just use the heat gun and get, get these bits stuck down perfect because there's a little bit of uh, lift up here and here. So we'll begin with these little bits here. stuck down, let's move on to the neck, just going to lift the, these ones, stick these top ones down first, and then go ahead and do these two.
looks pretty good to me. Now we're going to move on to the rear fender. I've already gone ahead and weeded out all the side bits. Going to also go ahead and weed out these two squares. Pop them here in case we want them later. Also a little bit of weeding got stuck on there. All right. Pull this out. Often when you pull this off, it may tear in between. Don't stress too much if it does. Um, it can be a little easy to actually do it in more than one piece. So our two holes line up with the rear light and the clip for folding it. So we begin by just putting those on. Bit of weeding that I missed there. Just sit that gently down. Run this down the back. And we'll just need to pull this one a bit tighter. So, remember the vinyl is actually quite elastic, so you can pull it quite hard uh, in order to have it conform to the surface. Alright, I'm going to begin with this top one here. Move on to the next one. Grab my hair dryer. See, it can be a little tricky to manage. Right. Probably going to do is just stick them all down so they don't flap around as best as I can. All right, we'll see if we can get rid of them. Just be careful if you lift the vinyl up while it's still hot, you will stretch it. Um, to reset it if it is stretched, you just heat it up a bit and it should pull straight again. And shrink back down. Good. Just kind of lift this piece up again so 
I can get this one on front piece on nicely. Do the opposite side. Looking pretty good there. Okay, I'm going to keep this middle one up. This one, and put this down like so. So by sticking it down, rubbing it, lifting it again, putting it down again, the reason that kind of works is because you're heating it up and shrinking it. So each time it conforms to the shape a little more, okay? And so you're no longer working with just a flat sticker sheet, but a, uh, a directionally, two directionally curved sticker. Okay, now we're getting towards the back here. Okay, now this end is much like on the front, so you just sort of do the same process for both. Pull these two together, straight down, stick it on, and then stretch this one up. Okay, now we'll heat it to get rid of those. Bumps.
Okay, I'm going to go ahead, finish the other side off camera, and then we'll move on. The next step is to do the sides. We're going to go ahead and just give it a wipe down. Also need to make sure you get along the top of it here because the sticker does wrap around. Of course, be careful, make sure your scooter is turned off anytime like this. You don't want to bump it, accidentally kick it off, anything like that. This is the right side. And as I said before, make sure you get the serial number. This is very important. Um, if your scooter gets stolen, it's the only way to know it's yours. What can happen with these particular scooters is that when you put the sticker on, if you peel it off, it takes the serial number sticker with it. So just be sure you have it recorded. Here are our two sides. This one's labeled right deck side. If you're still unsure, it has the big cutout here for the power. It has a split along the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottom half first and pull it off. And you just line it up with the fold and the edge. Now I'm just going to start rubbing from the middle outward. Excellent. Now we'll get our little end piece here. And now we're going to put this piece on. Now rather than line it up from here first, this piece you want to line up along here, along this top part here, and around the back. Two parts back, pull it forward more. Pretty good to me. Slide it along. Now, if it's catching on there, this is where you can get your skewer and run along the edge just to make sure it all pushes down properly. Now the alignment can vary, um, really depends, uh, you know, how hot the sticker is, um, whether or not it's had heat, um, you know, even when it was printed and cut, the temperature. So the, the fitment might be slightly different, before you just pull it, stretch it, and really get it where you can get it as best as you can, okay? Rub it down. That's the great thing about vinyl, it's uh, happy to be worked. All right, now we're going to move on to the upper half. Just line it up. Perfect. 
back and forth. Okay, now we've just got to do some finishing touches here. You don't have to do this, but I like to. We've got a bit of an edge here, okay? And it's kind of lifted a bit, which means water and stuff can get under there and we don't want that. So all I'm gonna do is take a sharp blade Just drag it along the metal there. Just be very careful. That you're not completely cutting through the plastic underneath. Same on this back half here. So don't overstress too much about getting it straight. Um, it's on the underneath. No one's really going to see it or notice it. And if they do, it's probably because you've crashed and uh, the screws upside down. And then you can just blame it on this crash. Alright, now we get the heat down. So I gave the whole thing a bit of a once over with the heat gun just to really make sure it's adhered nicely. Before we turn the scooter over and do the other side, we're going to put on the front lip. Sit it here, and it goes on here. Okay, so this is the front deck lower part here. Now it doesn't go that way like you might think, it actually goes this way. So pretty much the best way to do this is just line it up with the edge here. It will overlap a little. This side. Okay. 
So it's got a bit of a, a warp there. Just lift it again. back down. Looks pretty good. Now with our heat gun. So mostly here we're just making sure it conforms nicely over this weld so it doesn't lift. The other side will get perfect when we flip it over and do the other side of the scooter. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. And then I'll be back with you to finish up the top. All right, onto the deck. Now for anyone who went ahead and did the deck first because they were excited and now realizes these stickers go underneath it, uh, I apologize to you. So we'll just pull our deck up nice and carefully. Like that, pop this out. Now this is tricky. Because you want to try and get it nice and centered. And you've just got to be careful when you do pull it up, it may lift these, okay? That looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to put it down, don't press it too hard until we're happy, I'm happy with that, get this rag, start from the middle out. Excellent, okay, now we're just going to heat up help it conform to underneath and around here so that we don't get bubbles of lifting. Alright, excellent. I've got a little bubble here and one here that have come from actually the layer underneath where it lifted a bit when I lifted it on and off. So I'm just going to take this and poke it underneath and push out that air. All right, now onto the uh, headlight. It's in two pieces. The top part with the logo fits over here and runs down to here, and then the bottom part fits over the light. As always, give it a clean first. Now this is a tricky one because it's quite tight around here. So. Hook the bottom over, or the top, like so, and then you want to run down the sides. Now this is where you want your skewer to push the side down. Same on the other side. Now 
And here's where we have to start stretching a little. more. Remember, vinyl needs to be worked. So you won't always just get it first time. You keep doing it over and over and she'll start to conform. Excellent. Okay. Now it's on. Of course, it's not sitting particularly well, but that's okay. Because now we get our heat gun and our cotton tip. up perfect pull this nice and firm hit a little and pull it down a bit just so this lines up Perfect. And then we go ahead and heat the whole thing. Okay, so we've got a couple little bubbles here. We just poke those, heat it up, and push them. <laughs> in. Sometimes you may need to hold it while it cool while it cools, or it will shrink as it cools and not stick. All right, excellent. Okay, now we're on to the stem headset. We got our sticker. Make sure before, pull it off. Take out these two holes.
Okay, so to line this up, we're going to go with this hole first. bit low, I want to get a little bit higher. some heat to do it properly but just to get it started keep it working around and on to the other side okay so when you're rubbing it on flip it around Under here, we have two little bits, okay? Do this one first, pull it nice and firmly, under and around, and then this one across the bottom, again, nice and firm to there. All right, make sure all your parts under here lined up, fitting nicely. This one can probably come forward a bit. And we get our heat gun. Make sure they're all stuck down. It's important to take note in these areas here on both sides because they lift a little. So what you want to do is heat it, hold it down, and let it cool. Carefully don't burn yourself when you do this, use a rag if you're worried. And then it'll hold that conforming shape. Now just be careful as you heat it that you don't cause any other areas that you previously heated and stuck down to lift. Now on to the final piece. All right, on to the final piece, the display. If your display has the sticker on it still, go ahead and take that off. And grab your display sticker. I've gone ahead and I've weeded out these two inner bits. So now all I need to do is pull this off. Pretty straightforward how it aligns. Get it over the hole. Now your biggest challenge is actually going to be keeping these two lines straight. So just pop it down like that. 
run it forward. Give it a bit of heat and it's good to go. Excellent. And there it is, all done. Doesn't it look great? Just a quick word on safety. Make sure you be responsible. If it looks like some tapes lifting and coming off and may get caught in the wheel or otherwise cause any sort of hazard, you should remedy it quickly. Don't wait until it becomes a problem when you're cruising at 25 kilometers an hour. If you have any questions or comments, we're more than happy to hear them and we'd love to get in touch. Well, that's it. Thanks, and we'll see you out there riding.